Welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, we're going to take a look at the 10th anniversary edition of Pentago. Now, Pentago has been around for obviously 10 years, and it's uh, an abstract strategy game. Now, let me take a look at this one. Let's see if, well, let's see if I can figure out a way to get it out of the package. Hmm. Alright, seem to be packaged pretty solidly. Let's see if I can get it out. Ah, just needed a little bit of brute force. Okay. So that's that. And then we pull these apart and get inside. So inside here, you get uh, oh, here we go. Inside there, you get the instructions on how to play Pentago, which I'll go over in a second. And now, for those of you who have played Pentago before, this is based off the Travel Edition, and the Travel Edition looks like this. And as someone who had both the original wooden version and the travel edition, the travel edition is vastly superior to the wooden edition. You can carry these with you. And actually what I used to do is whenever I'd go out to play Friday Night Magic, uh, I play Magic the Gathering. Whenever I'd go play Friday Night Magic, I'd stick this in my bag. And if there's downtime between tournaments, we'd play some. So this, the 20th, the 10th edition, yeah, the 10th anniversary edition seems to be based upon the travel edition, which is the superior edition. So one thing already is the travel edition and this edition, they have little feet. You can see right here on the corners, there's a little rubber foot here, a rubber foot here, a rubber foot here, and there should be a rubber foot there but the rubber foot escaped, as you can see, attached to my glove. So I will reattach the rubber foot, and they just sort of squish in there, like so. I ran into the same problem with my Travel Edition. I don't know if you can see it or not, but my Travel Edition has two feet left, and two feet are gone. And it doesn't really hurt anything. And that Travel Edition has had a tough life. It, it was abused for years being stuck in my magic bag. Okay. So the Anniversary Edition, instead of the white and black marbles from the normal edition, you get what looks like kind of shiny ones. Shiny black and kind of gold marbles. These are sort of pretty. Yeah, you get sort of shiny black marbles and gold marbles. Hmm, not bad looking. And the action is the same as the Travel Edition which I do very much prefer. If you've never played Pentago, I will give you the 30 second how to play Pentago lesson. Okay, first of all, what I found with these travel editions, and this is basically a travel edition, the easiest thing to do is pop it out upside down and use the top to store your marbles. It sort of helps them helps having them not roll all over the place and so you can set these aside and grab them as needed now for the board itself the way you play Pentago is each player takes turns you place a marble and in this case I'll start by playing black you place a marble and then you twist one of the quadrants 90 degrees and then your opponent would go and they would play a marble, and they would twist one 90 degrees. Now, I played a lot. I played a lot of Pentago over the years, and generally, what we did is, if you're gonna if you're gonna twist a quadrant that it doesn't matter for, we just tap it, and say, you know, I twist that one. And it's because if the if the quadrant is symmetric, twisting it doesn't really change anything. Like if you had a quadrant that, oops, if you had a quadrant that looked like this. This one, twisting it has no effect on the board state. 
So the way you play the game is the goal is to get five in a row. And you can get five in a row, you can get five in a row horizontally, diagonally. So what you have is you have a diagonal through the center, both directions. So you can get a diagonal that way. You can get straight lines. You can also get the off-center diagonals. There's a diagonal of five here and a diagonal of five here. And you can get those and same on the other side. So that's pretty much the rules. Each player plays a marble, twists the thing, and then the next player goes and plays a marble and twists the thing. The next player goes, plays marble, and you go back and forth and so on and so on. And the first person to get five in a row wins. And in this particular case, black is in serious trouble because black cannot block off e both of these two things. So if I go here and then they win by going there. So anyway, but that's, that's the entire rules for how to play this game. You play a marble, you twist, and you try to get five in a row. If you're looking for a neat edition of the game, or if you don't have the travel one and you've never tried it, this edition is a nice looking version of the travel one. And you at least have the different colored marbles too. I didn't know how I'd feel about the, the gold and the shiny black marbles as opposed to just the traditional white and normal marbles, uh, the white and black marbles. But it's not bad. And I don't mind the look of this. It has the same layout and it feels about the same quality and weight wise as the other one uh, if you're interested in this I'll include a link in the description to Amazon for this also if you're a fan of Pentego there's either some really exciting or really sad news somebody solved Pentego and what it means is that if both players are playing perfectly, the first player can win or draw every game. And it's just like they've plotted out all the moves, and or they have an algorithm that handles all the moves. And so Pentego has been solved. Uh, I forgot off the top of my head how many moves they said it was. 100,000 million billion trillion. Wait, 100, 000, hundreds, thousands of million billion trillion. Whatever the number is after trillions, I think it was 3 to the 15th. Or 3 times 10 to the 15th moves. Anyway, I'll include a link in the description below if you're interested in the whole sol solving of Pentego thing as well. If you are looking for a good version of Pentego at a reasonable price, I think this is a good option. It's neat looking. It's a little different. The Travel Edition, which is this one, I think they ran like 19 or 20 bucks. And I think this one ran about the same. So... If you're looking for an extra at one of these, mine, my travel edition has survived five or six years, maybe. I'm trying to think of how long I've had it. It survived for a while, and I have not been gentle to it. And aside from the two missing feet, it's held up pretty good. I also cracked it right here. There's a small crack running right through here, but it still works fine. And it still stores the marbles, and it's still sturdy. So. If you're looking for a good addition, I recommend giving this one a try. And if you're interested in the solving of Pentego, I will include a link in the description for that. If you have any ideas or suggestions, please leave a comment below. If you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any other suggestions for things you'd like to see me review, just leave a comment below.